That's it. Sleep away, Brendan. Yeah. We're going to be in the kitchen <clears throat> while you're sleeping. Right, relax. Get back. Yeah. <laughs> we have Nick Raybar in the kitchen with us today from Avenue Wen. The one and only is Wednesday. We got work to do. We got work to do. What are we making today? We are making, let me try to see if I can say it right. Okay. Antipasto pasta salad. Antipasto pasta salad. Yes. Say that five times fast. I'm not going to even try. No. Because it will just be a disaster. But this will not be a disaster. <laughs> These ingredients look like just beautiful over here. Yes, and antipasto is like the Wild West. You can almost do anything you want to it. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's so true. like you can either put in like so much stuff, right, or you know, limited and a reasonable amount of ingredients. But I love that it's like the antipasto because I love antipasto. Yes. I love pasta. Yes. So you're bringing these two together. Two, two things that are going to go perfectly together. Have you done this before? No, I Let's admit see. I have never done it. I have never done I it. I love that you experiment yes. on air, live, yes. on the road show. Yes, but just what you said, I've made antipasto a thousand times. Right. And right. I've made, you know, and every which way, and I've made pasta salad a, a thousand times. Right. So you should be able to do this. We should be able to so do this. So what do you have? All right. So we have fusilli pasta. Okay. All right. I love it. It's a corkscrew pasta. It's fabulous. I believe when you do antipasto, yeah. you need a blend of pickled ingredients okay. and like brine ingredients and fresh and ingredients. And fresh ingredients. So let's go over fresh first. Uh, cherry tomatoes, arugula, red onion, mm -hmm. which can be a little controversial. Red onion is like <laughs> eating a bacon cheeseburger at lunch. It's really good right. when it's going down. But you're just not you're gonna sure. Pay for it you're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it. You can't be too close to anybody Can't be after. too close. But I love the flavor. I don't care what anybody says. It just adds a little something. Pickled ingredients. We have pepper dues. We have uh, Kalamata olives. Pepperoncinis. Mm -hmm. You got to have cured meats. So, so I have a little salami and a little chopped soppressata. Cheese. I did ch uh, diced provolone. Okay. Small diced provolone. I love that. You can use feta or creamy cheeses if you right. want, but I'm going with like a nice hard cheese today. Okay. Then I'm going to make a creamy dressing. Mm -hmm. So just a little red wine, olive oil, and it's almost going to be like a creamy Italian dressing, like an oregano and oil and vinegar creamy dressing that's going to coat all this up beautifully. So this should be really easy so to easy. put together. I can't so wait easy. to see this. Yes. I can't wait to it's eat gonna, it. It's going to be delicious. Yes. I'm right. hungry this morning. Make sure you stick around. Nick's here for the whole show today. They we're better gonna, stick around. They better stick You're around. Sticking right? around. You stick around. You're right sticking around. Right now we're going to kick it off to Will. Pow. We are back in the kitchen this morning with Chef Nick Raybar from Avenue N yes. making antipasto pasta salad. That's right. That's we're, why we're here. That's why we're here. That's why we get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> to make on a antipasto pasta salad. <laughs> now, I was thinking, you know, and I've done this many times, but I love side dishes. Yes. And like me, I'm, me too. I love side dishes. Yes. And this is like This is the perfect one. This is the perfect one. Now, I don't know what your school of thought is, but okay. like I'm a big believer in like See, we're going to add some cured meat to this. Yes. So I don't see this with like seafood. I oh, like wait, my. What do you see this with? I like. I see a it with like a no. burger all day. Okay. Burger all day. Real, you know, uh, pork chop, okay. ribs. Uh, like fish and chicken or no? Grilled chicken. Oh, okay, grilled chicken yeah. good, yeah. See, like, I love that kind of stuff. And this is just perfect for that. So let's go ahead because we have a little bit to do. So in between these, I made a little creamy Italian these. dressing. He made his little dressing. So I love it. It's this a little mayonnaise. It's red wine vinegar. It's olive oil. It's a lot of olive oil. It's um, herbs, oregano, uh, basil, a little garlic. It's really good. It's really, really simple, really creamy. Now, let's go ahead and toss this up. And I'm going to see how what how you go. Yes. How are you going to build this? I like to do it kind of like the way that I feel like the priorities are. So, mm -hmm. like first, it's a pasta salad. Okay. But then it's an antipasto. So antipasto is like you got to go in with you your cured meat. So I've got the soppressata, a little chopped salami. And you recommend just using as much as somebody wants to use, or are you like balancing it all out? I love it. That's the that's the main question you could ask, and here's why. And I nailed it. it. You nailed it. I nailed the that's right question. That's it. Mic drop. We're out of here. <laughs> Listen, here's why. I have goosebumps again. This is like <laughs> the reason is because when you're making pasta salad, sometimes it's too much pasta. Yes. Yes. You know. Yep. So, and I use this expression just very simply. I like the equal amount of stuff to pasta. Okay. Equal amount of stuff. To that pasta. makes sense. So, like now we got some uh, hard cheese in there. We put in the provolone. Some fresh ingredients. Oh, that some so cherry good. tomatoes. Oh my god, I know. already. It's pretty darn good already. Let's put in the arugula, even though I probably could have waited on that because this bowl is gonna get full fast. So let's go with some pickled uh, stuff. Oh, I've got the Kalamata so olives, good. the pepperoncinis. Let me spin it this I love way so Bonnie can see that. I could eat those all day long. And you and well, you're gonna be eating them for breakfast here today with some pepadoos. Oh my goodness. And then a little bit of uh, red onion. Now, this is a lot of pasta salad. So this little mix up is gonna be quite tricky, but we're gonna do it anyway. Let's go in with um, our dressing. And I think- so you just put all the dressing right on I'm gonna in. put it all in, and I'm just gonna go for it this morning because like, look at my bowls, they're all empty. This looks so Nothing good. Nothing was measured. 
I just kind of like. Can I just like, say I would just yeah. take it like this and leave? Well, I feel like you're going to, so I'm going to call security because I know that the will is hungry also oh out my there. God. I told him I'm like, wait until you try this. This yes. is before I even saw you put this together. This is sensational because this really is a great summer dish. Pasta salads. It's just like that go-to on yes. the table. Yes. So easy to do. You're 100 correct. It's mixing really well. I would have this all over the counter. Well, I've got a few. You're you being know. very kind. Like that little piece of fusilli snuck out of there. But let's mix this up. And so then, good. Yep. And so it looks a little wet, but there's plenty under there. So we're going to finish the job here. So you just bring everything together. Bring it to the surface. And what is the name of that up. pasta again? That so that's little? Fusilli pasta. Okay. It's like a little coarse group pasta. Obviously, you can use anything you want, but this is really nice. And I just use like your basic, but whole wheat pasta would be great in here. Okay. Um, there's a lot of like great like uh, chickpea pastas out there, yeah, things like yeah. that. So that works perfect. Let's season, of do course, and then like let's Do you feel like that pasta though holds the dressing better? Yes. Or is it, okay. That's exactly why you do this, because it's got those little spirals. Mm -hmm. It's like the corkscrew pasta. So like the, the the little dressing will get stuck in there See and how hide learning out. little by little each day in the kitchen. Yes. Right? Well, little you know your stuff. You've always known your stuff. All right, so let's go ahead. So you may be this learning, but you know your stuff. Let's go to the plate. Okay. All right. So uh, I think it's mixed enough. Oh my gosh, yep. that looks so good. Yes. Look at the, that coming together. I know. I know. It's exciting. And it's like, exciting. And it's exciting. And what we talked about before, like, what does it go with? It, this is a meal all to itself. Mm -hmm. This is a little side snack, but it's also. Uh, great with everything that we mentioned. Roast chicken, grilled pork, a little pulled pork on the oh, side. Pulled pork would be delicious too, huh? This is awesome. Look at this that. Is awesome. So delicious. So very fun. This came out absolutely and that's outstanding. A, that's a large, I mean, that could feed the entire crew here easily. It, huh? it will. It will. And that's why you have to think about, let me tell, let me tell the kids out there, when you come here to 25 Catamore, you better come ready to fill these these people up. And you always because, do. Yes. You always do. Yeah, you don't bring like a little you, you don't, don't bring, bring a like a little dish. chicken no. loin thing. You don't serve in this. You don't serve in this. You serve in you this. You serve in this. This is how it's there done. There we go. We load up. So there's our pasta salad. Oh my gosh, like it looks so good. You can top it with parmesan if you want a little something extra. You right. can chop it with fresh herbs. Ugh. A little green onion, whatever you're feeling. You've done it again. We've done it again. Anti pasta pasta salad. We're gonna dive in. There it is. We're gonna send to Will so we can get the first bite. Like literally, head first. <laughs> 